Hello, St. Andrews, and welcome to Chancel Chat on this Wednesday, February 8th. Um, the weather people tell us that we may set a record today for warm temperatures. The record is 62 degrees, and we may exceed that today. And then tomorrow we'll have four to eight inches of snow. So uh, welcome to uh, New Jersey in February. I'd like to begin uh, my chancel chat this week with, uh, by thanking the congregation for your response to the uh, Super Bowl food drive that we conducted at the church last weekend. Once again, the people of uh, St. Andrews have been very generous in, in donating food items, and all the food and uh, money that was donated will, will go to our um, uh, ministry partners at St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry here in Mount Holly. Uh, it turned out to be quite an exciting Super Bowl. Those of us who were Patriots fans uh, were uh, pleasantly surprised by the outcome, let's put it that way. Uh, looking ahead to this weekend, I'll be preaching and presiding at all three of the services this weekend. It's the sixth Sunday after the uh, uh, Feast of the Epiphany, and the Gospel reading is from the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, a portion of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, some very, very challenging verses uh, of Scripture. So we're looking forward to uh, uh, preaching uh, the, the Word this weekend. Um, on Saturday evening, uh, our monthly confirmation class will meet after the Saturday evening service. Uh, we'll begin our time together with a pizza supper, followed by our class. Uh, this week, uh, the Reverend Bob Higgs is going to be uh, teaching the class, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, looking ahead then to next week on Monday the 13th, our monthly uh, vestry meeting. Uh, this is a very important meeting because it's the first vestry meeting after the annual meeting, and so we'll be reorganizing the vestry and preparing for uh, another year of ministry and service here at St. Andrews. Uh, and then on Thursday evening at 6.30, our uh, uh, worship and liturgy committee meeting will be held uh, in the parish office. Uh, looking ahead then to the next weekend, uh, Sunday the 19th of February, we're going to be having uh, the formal installation of the vestry and then also the delegates to the Burlington Convocation and uh, the Diocesan Convention, and that will be at the 10 a.m. service. And then one week later, the, the service is the weekend of February 25th and 26th, we have decided that we're going to do what we call a narrative Eucharist. Now what this means is we're going to go through the liturgy uh, of, the, um, of the church and, and pause to explain why it is that we do what we do in, in liturgical worship in the Episcopal Church. So this is primarily to benefit our young people, especially our confirmation students, but those of uh, members of the church who are not as familiar with, uh, with worship in the Anglican tradition. Uh, I think it will be uh, an enlightening and interesting experience. So we're looking forward to uh, narrative Eucharist at, on Saturday evening, the 25th, and Sunday, the two Sunday morning services on the 26th of uh, February. Um, looking ahead then to uh, Ash Wednesday, which is uh, Wednesday, March 1st, we will have an early morning 7 a.m. Eucharist, a noon 12:10 uh, p.m. Eucharist, and then in the evening we'll be hosting our friends from St. Paul's uh, Lutheran Church for our uh, annual Ash Wednesday joint uh, celebration that will begin at 7.30 p.m. It will be preceded by a fellowship meal, which begins at 6 p.m. So you'll be hearing more about that as we move a little bit closer. Uh, I'd like to conclude uh, today with a couple of advertisements. First of all, um, our Lenten book study is uh, just around the corner. It will begin on Wednesday, March 8th. That's one week after Ash Wednesday. And this year we're going to be uh, reading together uh, Richard Foster's wonderful book, A Celebration of Discipline. Um, I ordered the books. They arrived this past week. We ordered 25 copies, so we're uh, hoping that we'll have a good response to this, uh, this Lenten book study. If you're interested, please uh, contact Chris in the parish office and sign up uh, so we have an idea how many um, uh, people will be attending, how much soup to prepare for that first, uh, that first meal on uh, Wednesday, March the uh, 8th. Uh, we'll begin at 6 o'clock with the fellowship meal, followed by our book study. We'll be finished by 7.30, and that's a promise. So, 
the second advertisement is uh, for the pilgrimage to the Holy Land in late January, early February of 2018, less than a year from now. And as I mentioned last week, the good news is that we've had 14 people uh, express interest, but we do need to have a minimum of 20 in order to qualify for the group airfare. So if you have any interest in this trip, uh, please let me know and I'll provide you with all the information that we have, uh, uh, an outline of where we're going to go each day and what we're going to be seeing. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really wonderful trip and uh, a great opportunity to actually visit the places that we're calling it, you know, walking in the footsteps of Jesus, visiting the places where Jesus was baptized, the, where the Beatitudes were, were given, the Sermon on the Mount, um, uh, all of these wonderful um, spots that are so important to our faith. So uh, please give prayerful consideration and let me know if, if you, you have an interest in uh, learning more about this pilgrimage. So that's about all I have for today. Um, I hope uh, everyone survives the snowstorm, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you all this weekend. And we'll talk again next week. God bless you.